I'm going to be creating a quick walkthrough for our bank contract. I've already pasted my contract into a file called my bank, which is in this contracts folder. Then I'm going to just compile my contract. You could turn auto compile on as well. And notice there's a ABI and bytecode files there. This will come in handy for future lessons. Next, we've compiled our contract. Now we've got to deploy our contract. I'm going to be using this first account here, 0x5b. We'll hit deploy. We've been deployed, and notice our contract shows up here. And the blue buttons represent getter functions. The orange is a setter function, and the red are transaction functions. So let's see who the bank owner is, and that's us. So I'm just gonna switch to a second account. And I'm gonna deposit money. And I'm gonna deposit, and the switch is to ether. I'm gonna put in one ETH. Then I will hit deposit money. And look at that long number, it's one to the 10 to the 18 power. So you see here, it would be in weight. And then if we switch back to our bank owner and look at the balance in the bank, we've got one ETH. If I wanted to look up a customer balance, just copy the customer's address, put it in here. One ETH. You can see who the bank owner is here. Let's set a bank name really quickly. Let's go back because we've got to be an owner to do so. So we're going to set the bank name. We're going to call it Bank of Cadena. Set bank name. Successful. Now, if we go to bank name, you see Bank of Cadena. So play around and remix. Right now, I'm just using the JavaScript environment because it makes testing really fast. But feel free to use Injector Web 3, which will allow you to test with your MetaMask wallet. 